Hi, my name is Mike. I'm a professor for social work management. And you are listening to Managing Around, the bi-weekly podcast about social science, culture, and management. Managing Around is part of the Talk About Organizations podcast network, a community resource and discussion platform for key ideas in management and organization studies, which is supported by our listeners. Welcome again to Managing Around, where we dive deep into the dynamics of social science, culture and management. Today, we are peeling back the layers on a topic that often gets plenty of lip service, but lacks in-depth understanding and implementation. Diversity in social services. Picture this. A social work agency bustling with professionals from all walks of life, each bringing their own rich tapestry of experiences, cultures and ideas. But here's the catch. Does this colorful mosaic translate into the way the agency operates, makes decisions and sets policies? Often there's a disconnect. Many organizations claim to value diversity, but only a handful truly integrate these principles into their core operations. In this episode, we will explore what it really takes to transform diversity from a well-meaning concept into a robust practice that enriches our work and the communities we serve. Stay with us as we uncover the real challenges discuss effective strategies and provide actionable steps towards achieving true diversity in social work. Let's start with the first part, the real challenges and opportunities of diversity in social work. Let's begin with the understanding of the fabric of our society, a mosaic of cultures, genders, abilities and ages, each contributing to the vibrancy of our communities. For example, recent statistics in Germany show a dynamic demographic with significant representation from various groups. About 26% of the population has a migrant background and there are visible gender disparities in employment and income, especially among older populations. The question then arises, how does this societal diversity translate into our social work institutions? Ideally, this diversity should be mirrored in the policies and practices that guide our work, fostering a truly inclusive environment. Yet, the challenge is profound. Diversity isn't just about acknowledging these differences. It's about varying them and seeing them as a potential source of strength. However, societal diversity also presents real challenges within social work settings. It demands a deep recognition and individual acknowledgement of each unique identity, which is fundamental to fostering diversity. The German legal framework, including the General Equal Treatment Act, and regulations like the Second Leadership Position Act set a clear baseline for anti-discrimination. But laws alone aren't enough. For example, while legal frameworks aim to ensure equal treatment, the daily reality in many organizations falls short. The need for internal engagement and initiatives like the Charter for Diversity shows that Voluntary commitment to diversity is crucial. Demographic changes, skill shortages, migration and globalization not only affect the workforce, but also the clientele we serve. Each group brings unique needs and perspectives that, if properly integrated, can enhance our service delivery. But the implementation often lags behind the potential hindered by outdated practices and resistance to change. Let's move on to the second part of our podcast today, which is about effective strategies for embedding diversity. Addressing 
the challenges of diversity begins with leadership commitment. Leaders must not only advocate for diversity, but also actively participate in training and development to lead by example. Another impact force strategy is policy revision. Agencies must regularly review and adjust their policies to ensure they are inclusive and equitable. This includes everything from recruitment practices to client engagement protocols. For example, incorporating client feedback into policy revisions can ensure that services are responsive and fully beneficial to a diverse clientele. To truly reflect the communities we serve, our hiring practices must be as diverse as the population. This means implementing bias-free hiring processes, using structured interviews and forming diverse selection panels. Furthermore, outreach to diverse communities can broaden our candidate pool, while internal support networks and Mentorship programs ensure that once hired, employees from underrepresented groups feel valued and supported. By fostering an inclusive environment, we not only enrich our organizational culture, but also ensure that all employees have equal access to career development opportunities. This approach not only attracts talent, but also retains it creating a stable and robust workforce. Each of these strategies, from revising policies to embracing inclusive recruitment, plays a critical role in embedding real diversity within our social work institutions. They are not standalone solutions, but interconnected elements that reinforce each other, creating a comprehensive approach to managing diversity. As we move to the final part of our episode, we'll discuss how your organization can take actionable steps to implement these strategies and make a lasting impact. So, what can your organization start doing today to make a real difference? First, conduct an audit of your current diversity practices and policies. Identify areas where your organization falls short in representing or serving diverse groups. Following this, set clear, measurable goals for improvement, such as increasing minority representation in leadership roles or enhancing language services for non-native speakers. Furthermore, consider establishing a diversity and inclusion committee if one doesn't already exist. This committee can spearhead initiatives, monitor progress, and keep diversity on the agenda. Remember, the goal is to create an environment where diversity is not just acknowledged, but actively celebrated and integrated into every facet of the organization. Let's come to a conclusion. Today, we've navigated the complex terrain of diversity management in social work institutions. Starting from societal disparities to adopting inclusive strategies, we discussed few actionable steps. As we have seen, the journey towards real diversity demands commitment and courage in the long run. But what can be concluded so far is diversity is more than just a policy. It's about valuing every unique individual and enhancing our collective capacity to serve the community that is as diverse as we must be. Thank you for listening. Managing Around, the bi-weekly podcast about social science, culture and management. Managing Around is part of the Talk About Organizations podcast network, a community resource and discussion platform for key ideas in management and organization studies, which is supported by our listeners. If you liked this episode, please leave a review on your favorite podcast website. There's also a link in the show notes. If you've got any thoughts on this episode or if you've got any idea about new podcast topics or questions you'd like to discuss, send me an audio file or voice note to hi at profmanagement.de.
For any non-audio comments, drop a tweet or DM to at profmanagement on Twitter or Instagram, please. For more information, visit my website www.profmanagement.de. Thank you for listening and see you next time.